uh, I welcome you all to International Film Festival of India at Goa, where we celebrate the cinematic brilliance of filmmakers worldwide. Now, before we proceed further, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the director of the film, Ashwin Kumar Baluja, and producer Shilpa Dhawan from Clean Productions on the successful completion and premiere of this remarkable movie here at Ifi Goa. It's an honor to host such an exceptional cinematic project. I would like to mention that since this press conference is being live streamed, I kindly request everyone to keep their mobile phones on silent mode to, smooth, uh, to ensure a smoother uh, transaction. Mahavatar Narsimha is India's largest and most ambitious animated movie, marking the first time in Indian history that an animation of this caliber has been unveiled. This groundbreaking film brings to life the powerful tales of Lord Vishnu's third and fourth avatars, Varaha and Narsimha, with unprecedented quality and visual artistry set amongst the world's world of demigods and demons, demon Hiranakashyap avenges his brother Hiranakshya, Hiranakshya's death by supreme god Vishnu's Varaha avatar. Going through intense penance, he gains the ultimate power to rule over the three worlds. Possessed by invincible boons and blinded by ego, he deplaces the balance and declares himself as God. With no one to confront him, his five years old son, Prahlad, stands on the virtues against the demon. Not sparing even his own son, the demon king devises various ways to kill him. The, the unshakable faith of this little prince forces the supreme god to manifest as Narsimha's avatar to kill the tyrant and restore the balance. That was all about the movie. To begin our conversation, yes. uh, I would like to invite the director Ashwin Kumar to share his thoughts about the film. So, uh, Mahavata Narsimha uh, is the film that has uh, never, a film of this animation scale has ever been produced on the Indian screen for an Indian audience. The beautiful part that uh, about this film that I feel personally, as a, not just as a director of the film, but even as an audience, is that it stays very true to the Shastra and to the source because it has been well researched from the Vishnu Puran, from the Narsim Puran and Srimad Bhagavat Puran and including all these sources, the legends and the lores that are around uh, our predominant deities. And we have simply and very humbly tried to present and preserve uh, this uh, heritage, this culture for our youth, for the future. That was the intent of producing this film. Uh, thank you, sir. Now, I would request... Uh the producer of the film, Shilpa Dhawan, uh, from the film to uh, give her insight about the film. So, Mahavtar Narasimha is a movie which basically describes our culture, our heritage. And I'm a proud Sanatan and I feel privileged and blessed to be a part of this project and to show this kind of a content which presents my culture, my heritage, not only even in this country, all over the world. So, the reason I invested in this content is because I want this content to reach every house in the world and every person on this planet must see the power of our gods, the real gods. And uh, if it touches even 1%, then I will be really thankful to God. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, before I open the floor uh, for the media, I have some questions to the director. Bilkul, please. Sir, what inspired you to delve into India's mythological history? and choose a subject that has remained largely unexplored by Indian filmmakers. Oh, very good. Ashwini, no? Yes. <laughs> I'm Ashwini, he's Ashwini. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, I don't look at it as a mythology. For me, it is a Itihas, which is very old, which is Puran, hence dwelling into the Truth. Puranas. For me, it is as sacredly truth than as my own history. Uh, second of all, I was in a space of darkness myself. And uh, when we all are in a space of darkness, we held, we look for anchors of faith and whatever our faith may be is always going to be challenged and this is what the story of uh, Prahlad Maharaj, Bhakt Prahlad really touched me and I felt this story needs to go out because when I found my faith back I knew that there are many people such as me who are also going to dwell into the similar darkness who are going to need an anchor to pull them back through and that is why we uh, I dwelled into this subject. Well, truly said sir. Uh, oh, ma'am, uh, Shilpa ma'am 
uh, what were the challenges of producing such an animation film with such a rich uh, mythological themes that you have to portray on the film? Well, that's a long that's a long story, and there were a lot of challenges because this is our first production. So you know, and creating a content on animation because in India the conception of perception of animation is like chote bacho ke liye, you know, like five year old, six year old, and we wanted to create an animation uh, which was to be seen by anyone in the world, and in fact all ages. Because if you go abroad and you watch the international Disney quality, so there there is no specific uh, age ki bacche hi dekhte hain, you know. Parents bhi dekhte hain, sab log dekhte hain. So we wanted to create a content uh, which can attract every, for, which is good for every age. So no one would believe our vision initially, of course. And people would think uh, animation in India may chalega. And with that, we had a lot of challenges in every aspect. But you know what? Uh, once you start something and you know God is with you and especially the stories about faith, Prahlad having faith on Lord Narsimha. So our faith was tested several times. In fact, it is still being tested every single day. So, but uh, when God is with you, then you can achieve anything. So uh, the challenges cannot be counted. But uh, all I can say is when you have a complete faith in God, then all the change, challenges are taken over by God. Uh, and whenever there is darkness, ultimately the Lord comes. So we are here because this is the place of light. And it says the highest accolade uh, where we are at Ifi. In the Indian panorama with our first film, a lot of love and thanks to all the people who have supported and uh, even to the Humbale uh, productions who came on board and is taking this uh, film uh, to en masse around the world in five languages. So um, that shows the power of our law. Well, thank you, sir. I wish both of you... Uh, and you. we'll be releasing it later thank on you. in Japanese, English, everywhere because we're getting a demand from all the different countries yes. where they have seen the poster and they are really curious and they want to uh, release this movie in their country. So by God's grace, we're getting a great response for the movie so far. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, I would like to open the floor for the media to ask questions. Please. Uh, hi, hello, uh, my question is to Ashwin sir. Uh, yesterday we had a masterclass about storytelling in the con context of filmmaking. Okay. So uh, at that in, in that panel discussion, questions were raised about uh, recently uh, films lacking uh, the depth of research. Okay. And uh, uh, in order to overcome that, uh, different versions of the story or epic being combined to uh, overcome that uh, shortcoming. Okay. So okay. Do you want to comment on that? See, art is very subjective, uh, you know, uh, and uh, the entire question uh, can actually revolve on the fact that uh, how much does art really impact our subconscious in the society and vice versa, how much the subconscious or the society element uh, affects art. So, uh, uh, yes, people can find an easy way through to, uh, you know, but it shows if art is lacking heart, na, agar, uh, kisi art mein it lacks heart, then it will show in the art and eventually it will not sell. So that's the truth about uh, uh, art because I look at filmmaking as an art. If it's done with it, it will show. Even it may not hit 100% everywhere, but it will hit you the places that it is meant to. So I do believe, yes, people try to cut corners, uh, but one as an artist, this is the swadharma, this is, uh, this is the, uh, the religion of an artist to not uh, uh, compromise. Because if the art is not elevating your conscience, then what is the ultimate use of it? That is how I feel about it. Uh, so uh, this is your uh, debut feature film in animation. Yes, yes. So uh, since the VFX and animation is, is still in nascent phase in India, yes, uh, that is not being explored so far. Yes. So since this is your first film also, mm -hmm. so how you uh, came into this idea of animation and how you uh, what what were the challenges that you faced initially in the initial phase? Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, Indian uh, VFX and animation is a uh, very profoundly skilled and rich because आप जितने भी international film में देखते हैं, I can use Hindi ना? So whatever international films हम देखते हैं, उसमें end if you roll on to the end credits, so lot of uh, Indian names you will see, but uh, we don't see that reflected into the Indian films to that scale somehow. I think that will be a more appropriate way to put it. But uh, so skill is definitely not the issue in India. So I was convinced about it. Me being a self-trained artist, my bachman say I've I've been into art myself, uh, and I've worked in the VFX and animation field for a decade, uh, and um, had some experiences. 
तो द काइंड ऑफ स्टोरी दैट वी वॉन्ट यू टू टेल वॉज सूटेड बेस्ट फॉर एनिमेशन उसके दो तीन कारण है मैं आपको बताऊँ सो वेन यू हैव एन एनिमेटेड कैरेक्टर और उसको लेट से कोई बहुत उमदा फिल्म यू नो हीरो और हीरोइन इज वॉइसिंग द कैरेक्टर सो वी हैव द टेंडेंसी टू लुक एट फाइंड द हीरो स्पेस इन दैट कैरेक्टर राधर देन स्टिकिंग ट्रू टू द कैरेक्टर एज इज so that was one reason we stuck to animation second the leverage that i get into animation is unmatched matlab the entire world is under my control ab chahe gud gobar chahe jo bhi ho jaye wo mere zimme hai you understand but if it goes great that i am responsible if it does not go great i am also responsible so i cannot say it was a cinematographer's fault it it was a actor's fault it the buck lies with me it stops at me so that was very clear and since i was trained into animation and the story like where we are showing portraying lord narsimha with such great detail lord vara in such great detail prahlad maharaj it's very life like animation so every nuance has to be very meticulously be done because each frame you know has 30 24 to 30 images or wo frame ek second that 30 frames is just one second and we produce 5 minutes and after so much research we do 5 minutes and if it does not become what we envisioned it to become we have to go back to the drawing board so it's a very painful process but to get into that process it is the most rewarding process also so the biggest challenge was that it is a painful process painful isliye kyunki i don't know matlab uh, you have to really really work hard it took 4 and a half years to create this piece and uh, beautiful is there because it is very satisfying because uh, uh, it produces exactly what i imagine it to be that was okay. um uh, i have another question about uh, picking about the stories the another thing that i came uh, that came out uh, from that mass uh, that panel discussion was uh, that regional cinema is better at picking stories from our uh, itihas or puranas as compared to uh, hindi cinema ji uh, do you agree with that i uh, yes i partly do agree with this because when we look at commercial cinema suddenly the commercials get involved and when commercials get involved then uh, we are looking at economics very deeply and there are certain traits to the economics uh, so when there is a huge money involved so you want to be insured as a producer as a distributor they want to ensure that the money keeps the recovery ho so we see a lot of uh, mass stardom in india which is a good thing also Uh, and that kind of ensures the entire economy ki this is a bankable space to invest on that is why mahavta narsimha as a animated feature film is also a very huge uh, uh, bravado experimental film because animation ka us target audience like shilpa also said is never been targeted before because animation generally stereotype hamare hindustan mein ye hai ki it is only for kids but our animation stands different because we are not only ta- targeting kids in fact hamara jo cbfc certificate that is ua perhaps they are the only animation in india which is ua certificate because there is blood and gore in this right there are elements that are very deeper and darker in this so uh, every children that goes there is to be accompanied with the parent which is good so the uh, names and glories of the lord spreads more and more but that is the truth of the story also so we have to hold the story in its own merit and ground uske principle hum hila nahi sakte bhagwan narsim agar phad rahe hain to phad rahe hain now i cannot make bhagwan narsim phad rahe hain aur khun na nikle you understand so it kills the purpose of that story the demon or the asura needs to be killed the way he is to be killed because he believes in a dharma so the lord who is you know bona fide dharma himself to wo to karenge na nash shatru ka so that is the idea behind it right <laughs> sir uh my question is to shilpa ma'am uh what are your expectations from the film is it purely a commercial venture or there is some uh, larger goal like reviving uh, our uh, hidden history of india honestly it's the second point uh, when we started this movie i never knew it would go to this budget which we had gone but because as we said that once a uh, content is created and especially this is our history i again i don't want to say it mythology it's our history and you know once it's in the cinema it's a history for everyone to go for generations so which cannot be wrong so we wanted to be very sure whatever we are taking out is perfect so more than commercial it was more of a it's a vision for us it's not only mahavta narsimha our brand is mahavta we will be releasing other 10 avatars as well so we are showing two avatars in this movie vara avatar and shri narsimha avatar then we have another eight avatars which will be coming in the form of comics series movies 
episodes. So our vision is very big. We want to take our Sanatan Dharma everywhere in the world so that our Lord glories are being seen by people and by followed by them as well. So there's a Jai. big vision for that. Do you add into this, sir? Yeah, and it should make a lot of money also. <laughs> <laughs> I think because we have to keep doing this, so <laughs> so we have to make a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> so uh, India is a young country, sir, mm. and uh, most of our stories are uh, largely to the extent they are not aware of it. Ji. So do you think that the young audience uh, will find some resonance with uh, these uh, movies, these kind of movies? See, uh, yes, of course, because ultimately this is a father son story. if you look at it in one way and it is also a child abuse story where you have a demon trying to kill his own son right and a father not agreeing with what the son says how many of us as sons in the family have gone with that with our you know fathers wo to hota hi hai wo aaj bhi ho raha hai and wo you know sadiyon kal se hota aa raha hai and we hold to nahi my father i am right and the father says no he is right so that is a kind of conflict which is very interesting so from time immemorial we have this kind of a conflict that goes on but whatever is the ultimate truth will ultimately prevail that is the truest essence of this story i'm not uh, saying ki fathers and sons should fight <laughs> and uh, but the idea is there has to be a dharmic resolve and where is dharma where dharma is prevalent the lord is the center and wherever where lord is the center everything will be beautiful and fruitful that is the idea of the film true sir and i think it will resonate with the uh, children in all of all ages and even uh, people of uh, uh, older age because the people of older age know this story and ethias very well ye story hamare bharat varsh mein har jagah ek alag uh, tarike se batai ja rahi hai in the north the holi holika story is very famous right everybody knows yeah. why the holika dahan and you know we celebrate it but down south we have lord, the lord narasimha is a kshetrapal predominant uh, uh, deity for so many people kitne logo ke he is the isht in south we have people uh, who are named uh, narasimha right so the story ka lower pura far and wide hai in fact you not believe but even in uh, pakistan uh, there is a temple of uh, uh, prahlad maharaj where actually the holika dahan took place and in uh, we have in near hyderabad we have uh, aho bilammat which is the actual uh, place the where uh, the narsimha lord narsimha appeared and there are nav narsimha that are being uh, revered there since millennia so the story or lore ye bahut bada hai bahut vishal hai aur usko hum kis disha kis ke hriday ko kaise touch karenge it's very difficult to say yes plus i feel a good content is a good content aur aaj ke time pe to bahut zarurat hai is tarah ke content ki because it's just people into depression ye young generation to bahut hi unka you know they are too much insecure or itna depression mein hai so they need stories like these because these kind of stories give them hope ki yaar nahi yaar you know the, there's a bit, there is a brighter world so i think it's such a time to ho hi nahi sakta tha uh, since you touched this um, this part of nasima sir future mein aur bhi aise plan hai kya matlab agar aur bhi aise themes agar humko milte hain aur bhi stories milti hain to aap unke sath aana chahenge या लाइक शिल्पा ऑलरेडी मैंशन हमारा पूरा महा अवतार का ब्रांड है जिसके थ्रू थ्रू वीडियो गेम्स थ्रू कॉमिक्स थ्रू एनिमेटेड फिल्म लाइव एक्शन फिल्म प्रोड्यूस द इंटायर महा अवतार सीरीज विच इज गोइंग टू कम आउट टू द वर्ल्ड इन मेनी लैंग्वेजेस सो दैट आवर्स कल्चर एंड हेरिटेज स्टेज पुट the way it is supposed to be फॉर द यंगर जनरेशन बिकॉज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज गोइंग टू गिव दैम अ टेस्ट ऑफ new age cinema but our history that is the idea okay any questions uh sir now i think it's time to wind up uh, mm. i on this uh, uh great uh, premiere of this movie i would like to thank the delegates uh on the dais for the participation today we hope that the discussion and insights shared today will make will take this message uh, of the film to the wider audience uh, through the media thank you thank you sir thank, thank you so, you so much, much.